Welcome everyone to another episode of A Bright Side. Today we are here at the Stythian Showground because it is the Cornwall Balloon Festival. How amazing is that? So let's go check it out. And by the way, there's a fair here too. general sweep of the camera around the fair. What we're going to do is have a little look um, at the balloons first, maybe get a bite to eat and then come back to the fair because I think the kids really would like to go on the Go Gator roller coaster. I say roller coaster loosely, you know, just get on a train that goes round a track and up and down a little bit. Look at that, that is a no. I want to see if the ghost train is here again because uh, I do love the ghost train. And as you enter the showground, there is an info point and lost children tent here, which is really good to know. Okay, so we've got some food stalls here. We've got live music over there. It's actually called the Cornwall Balloon and Tunes Festival, not just a balloon festival. So I misspoke earlier on. The Cornwall Balloon and Tunes Festival 2022. All right, candy floss and sweets. We've got the carvery, which looks like they do bacon, sausage, chips, hot and cold drinks. The chopstick, which I assume, yeah, is oriental, an oriental noodle bar. And just going over Shell Bell's head there, we got burgers, more sweet treats, wraps and curly fries. We're interested in that, so we might have a little look at that one. It's very loud here. Okay, looks like there's a full bar here as well. The bar Nova. Wine and fizz, six pounds, beers, ciders, spirits. Yeah, there we go. Donuts, yes! Okay, this is what we've uh, got here on offer, the original wrap with just chicken and like lettuce, uh, tomato, cucumber, etc. Texan barbecue chicken, sweet chili chicken, southern fried chicken, chicken halloumi and bacon. That's the one I'm going to go with. Chicken halloumi and Tilly has just stepped in the way, but that's okay. Chicken halloumi and bacon, that sounds amazing. I think Shelly's going to go for the southern fried chicken, so let's do that. Right, so this is the chicken, bacon and halloumi wrap with some tomato and lettuce uh, and um, what else? I have a sweet chilli sauce that went in there. Could have had mayo, but I went with sweet chilli today, so we'll see what that's like. And you changed your mind at the last minute, didn't you? You went for the Texan barbecue, didn't you? Instead of the one, the, like the southern fried chicken, didn't you? All right. How are your cheesy chips? Good? <laughs> How are your cheesy chips? Good? Yummy? Okay, it's not too bad. The flavours are there. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but yeah, it's all right. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's quite tasty. Barbecue-y. Yep. Kind of what I asked for. Awesome. It seems that Captain America has arrived for a photo op. Nice. Hello, Captain America. Hello. I didn't realise you were here at Scythians today. Oh, I'm all over the place. Amazing. And you're, you put a British accent on for us. Yeah. yeah that's, that's also very good. That's just to help us out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, nice one. Captain hey, kid. Captain Cornwall, Yeah, Captain Cornwall, yeah. Hey, look at you two. I actually thought Captain America was taller than that. I assumed he was like six foot something, but obviously not. Right, we're not going to start inflating the balloons until two o'clock. It's a little before two, so we've got a little bit of time to kill. So what we're going to do is head into the fun fair and check it out. Convenient conveniences. Ah, the old classic hook a duck. A prize every time. I think the kids are aiming toward the uh, bouncy castle there. I wonder if that poor creature has got a cataract in his left eye. Okay, I think we've lost the kids for a while now. So there's a 10 minute limit on the bouncy castle, is that right? What was it, five pounds each? Five pounds each, 10 minutes of unlimited bouncing. Yeah. Um, but we have to monitor the 10 minutes because there's a lot of kids and it's half of the one lady's on it. Oh, okay, so if it was like 15 minutes, it was like 11 minutes, I'm sure it was like. Okay, so, all right. Probably five pounds each. Them. Well, yeah, find, <laughs> finding them's gonna be difficult, isn't it? 
Ah, the classic dodgem. I don't know why we call them dodgems in this country. To me, the aim is not to dodge the other cars, it's to ram into them. So surely the American uh, bumper cars uh, makes more sense as a name, doesn't it? Bumper cars? I'm gonna go with bumper cars. I've always called them bumper cars. I don't understand dodgem. I do not see a ghost train anywhere in this, in this uh, fun fair. My goodness. Crazy frog. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's a no. I like on the Thriller Express the complete randomness of these photos or pictures, rather. You've got like Spider-Man, Statue of Liberty, someone that looks like Pamela Anderson, a car, Darth Vader, a skateboarder, Batman, a, a football player from the 49ers. Someone that wants to be the Silver Surfer, a random girl, and then over there, uh, like a, a surfer. What, what the heck is that about? No. No. Right there, 10 minutes is up and Shelley has gone in to retrieve them. I don't know how successful this will be, but uh, I'm just still thinking of the fact that it's five pounds per child. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna get on the uh, bumper cars. Or dodgems, whichever you refer to them as. Why not? Okay, Matilda's riding with me, and AJ is riding with Mama Bear. Token inserted. Yes, it's okay. My goodness! We're, we're gonna, whoa! Okay, let's, let's get Mama Bear, look, yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, getting some speed there on the... What? Ah! Okay, the kids are gonna go on Go Gator. Hey, Shelly, you looking forward to this? Okay, AJ didn't want to do this ride. I think he was a bit traumatized by the bumper car, so he's down there with uh, Mama Bear. Hey! Makes me laugh, actually, because the adults are cheaper to get on than the kids. Whoa! <laughs> to do. This is amazing. Yeah. 
Okay, AJ changed his mind. He wanted to go on the, uh, I don't know what to call that. I don't want to call it a roller coaster. I think that's a bit extreme, but you know what I mean. Whatever this is, the Go Gator. Ice creams, kids. Delicious. Right, so where the balloons are, or at least should be, in this field, there are some stalls. So we'll go and have a little look. I don't see any balloons being inflated. I wonder if it's a little bit too windy higher up and uh, they're not going to inflate them today. It'd be a bit of a shame considering it's a balloon festival. My goodness, there's a whole plethora of sunglasses here if you want to pick up some sunglasses some clothing items and some like bucket hats for 10 pounds a piece there you go get yourself a bucket hat I like some native american headdresses as well that's strange all right this one's called the 1010 boutique all sorts of like dream catchers some crafty bits and pieces a little wood carving oh a little cute little mouse there look at that Glitter bar and face art. All right. Get your face painted there if you like. What else have we got? We've got some, some more jewelry. Some furry hats there, some furry coats. It's more like sunglasses for sale. How ridiculous is that? How many uh, pairs of sunglasses are there, I wonder? Along with all that lot over there. That's a lot of sunglasses. A whole bunch more bucket hats. Lots of hats, in fact. Some like wind charms. Okay, so just a lot of like arts and crafts, uh, those sorts of things, and a ridiculous amount of bucket hats and sunglasses. Right, so what's going on here? You've got one basket there and one basket over there with two lines and basically what it is is a photo while the man is in there and he is going to do that when you're on it so you can get your photo on it with the uh, flames Kids, did you enjoy being in that uh, hot air balloon basket? Yeah? And you've got some free sweets as well, so that's awesome. I'm not so sure any balloons are going to be inflated today because it's well past the uh, allotted time for them to be inflated and that one there is just still flat on the ground. It's looking a bit forlorn. Sad times. Okay, do not be fooled. This is just like a pamphlet. Sad trombone moment. There are no balloons inflated currently. So apparently we just overheard they are not inflating the balloons at the moment, are they? No, it's a bit windy and it doesn't feel very windy down here. Yeah. But you can see from the balloons that are attached to the hot air balloons a little. Yeah, it is. It is quite windy yeah. and obviously if they get the balloons up and it's even windier as they go, yeah. it's just not safe. You can probably hear on the audio, can't you? It's, if there is a little bit of wind uh, off the camera. a balloon there. Yeah, being blown around. So, okay, well, you know. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. The weather is not in our control. It isn't. Yeah. Right, score over eight to win. So it's like a dart throwing game, basically. Let's see if we can do this. All right, let's give it a go. So you've got to score eight by hitting the target. Darts is not my forte. I just want to point that out. Yeah, that's not enough. Five. Darn it. 
Right, so Shellbell's gonna have a go now because it was five pound for two games. So go for it, Shellbell. Do better than me. <laughs> I didn't get any number that time. Oh, you got a zero. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> what did you get? Uh, zero. 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 Oh man. Okay, our dart skills are clearly uh, not where they should be. So, catch a Toy Story character. Prize every time. Well, we're not going to lose this one, anyway. Let's let's go for this one. Is it like a? Oh, it's like a duck. Uh, like a hook, similar to hook a duck. Hook a. Hook a Toy Story. Hook a Toy Story character. character. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is AJ's go. He's trying to get a hold of Buzz there. Oh, another Buzz Lightyear there. Oh, let me get that one. Oh, we're, he's struggling to get Buzz here. Yay, hey, we did it. So we've got a number one on that one, AJ. Okay, so Mama Bear is helping Matilda now. And I think she wants to get Zerg. Oh, uh oh. Zerg has capsized. There must be another Zerg to leave. We'll get him. Here we go. There's another Zerg. Look. Can you get him, Mama Bear? Okay, so the points value of both those were one, which I think is a small prize. One small prize, okay. So we get two small prizes. I think AJ wants one of these trucks with buses on, and Matilda wants the bouncy putty, which I assume is like Play-Doh. So what did you end up with? The bouncy putty. And AJ, oh, you just dropped your truck with buses on, okay. Well, we're going to leave the video there. Very disappointed that the balloons aren't being inflated. Uh, well, they might be inflated later, but uh, we'll be gone home by then. You know, kind of an expensive day. It costs us £30 to get in and to see no balloons go up. I know it can't be helped with the weather, but £30 basically to go to a fun fair that you had to pay all the extra money on top of for the individual rides. Yeah, wasn't the best of days financially, shall I say. I was just saying that that turned out to be a very expensive day for not actually seeing what we yeah, paid to it's, see. It's no one's fault that it's too windy, but it does make it an expensive day. Though, yeah. Because it's, for a family ticket, it was all but 30 pounds to get in. Yeah. And then each of the fairground rides You had to pay for extra. Um, um, so yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know if I would go again. Uh, because it is difficult to guarantee the weather, so I don't think I would. I don't think I would take the risk and pay that money to see something that might not be happening. Um, I mean, there's no. The fair was fun. The fair, the fair was know, fine. It, it is what it is. Cats, you know, it was a good event. But yeah. when you want to come and see the hot air balloons and you get to see them, you can't help but be a bit disappointed. Yeah, a bit of a sad trombone moment, I'm afraid. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are on social media, we're on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at The Bright Side, so check us out there. So from us to you, cheers and gone. Alright, now we just got to find the car. <laughs>